Hi guys, welcome back. I am gonna be doing some prep before the baby gets here. And you may be seeing this after she's born, but uh, we are moved in and I have a little time on my hands. I'm like, why don't I just take advantage of it? I'm gonna be doing some, first off, pizza dough that I'm gonna put in the freezer. I honestly never make pizzas, but I think that would be something that would be really easy to put together. And then I might try to fry up some sausage, some things like that, put that in the freezer, like have it ready to go. And I think it could come in very handy. And I found a recipe by the Pioneer Woman, and I've been having fun experimenting with dough the last while, so I'm gonna give it a go. I don't have bread flour, but I do have unbleached all-purpose flour, so I might just use that and try it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also cooking supper currently, so um, you'll see some other things happening in the background, but that's the plan for now. I will probably include some other things if I do some prep as well. So I use the Fleischmann's Active Dry Yeast. You can see it's bubbly, which means it is active and it's good to go. I've been having success, success with it and I must say this has been just a lot of fun experimenting with dough and I'm kind of proud of myself. Uh, I definitely have a lot to perfect yet and I'm definitely going to keep trying and experimenting things, but uh, it is kind of fun. So I challenge you that if it's something you're scared of, don't give up keep trying and find recipes that are really, really easy and don't take a lot of ingredients. This is the part that's fun. It's when you stick your hand in the dough and you just kind of want to touch it. Oakland really just wanted to play with it. But anyway, I divided it into four loaves or four uh, sections. And I think I would do three next time just because of the size. I felt like my crust was plenty thin when I went to do it, which you'll see later. I think if I would have not made it quite as big, it like in the pan, it would have gotten a little thicker, but it did turn out to be a hit. I kind of just customize the pizza. The boys don't like much on theirs. They like pepperoni cheese for the most part. And Nick and I generally like the toppings and meat and all of that. So uh, you can do whatever you want on your pizzas, but it is something that should be easy for me to make later on. You'll see I'm obviously wearing a different outfit. So that was the next night. I had put the four different sections into the freezer and then I just pulled the one out that I wanted to use for that evening. I pulled it out in the morning and let it sit in the fridge. And you kind of want to warm it up with your hands, I think, or let it sit out for a little bit before you try to uh, put it in your pan, I found out, because it didn't really want to roll out. It was kind of cold. But by the time I kind of got the dough warmed up a little bit, it was fine. So. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I'll make sure to link it down below. After I'm done with the pizza, you'll notice that I'm back in my old kitchen and that is because I had filmed some random different recipes as I was making them and I really wanted to share them with you. Some of it is things that I put in the freezer and also some things that we ate and I like the recipes and I really wanted to share them with you. So I hope you enjoy it even though it's not in uh, the new kitchen. So the first recipe is going to be a baked chicken drumstick recipe and I found this on Pinterest and this is something you could completely customize yourself but I've got a variety of different spices I have a bag to kind of marinate it in I love using uh, drumsticks just because they're very inexpensive and as you know seems like everything is super pricey these days and this is one thing that 
is not so much and we prefer dark meat but you could easily you know switch it out if you'd want to probably just to uh, adjust the baking time so basically I put olive oil in there uh, got it all kind of mixed around and then added my spices and then you're just gonna pop it into the fridge and let it sit there for oh I don't know an hour or so I'll leave the recipe down below it's so easy to make and it was really delicious The next recipe was a big hit with my whole family. Uh, these are potato skins, and this is also from Pinterest, so it makes it easy for you guys to just save it, print it out, you name it. Um, but anyway, start off by baking my potatoes, and then you're gonna scoop out the insides and kind of fill it with some yummy stuff. So, hope you guys enjoy this recipe. So I'm laying my chicken out on the pan here and I just lined it with foil for easier cleanup. This would also be really, really good in the smoker. Both of these would be really good in the smoker, but I was kind of feeling a little lazy so I just did it in the oven, but that would totally take it up a whole nother notch to be able to have like a smoky flavor to it. Uh, so yeah, you're going to use your broiler just a little bit, but both of these turned out really good. Once they're done cooking, you're gonna brush the insides with some butter and fill them with cheese and some bacon bits. And I think that was all I put in it at that point. And then you put it back in the oven for just a little bit. And then lastly, you're gonna fill it with some sour cream maybe some chives or green onions and a little bit of the bacon or cheese on top again. Oh my word, they were so good and I totally should have made more. I was underestimating how many I would need. You're then gonna pro pop them back into the oven or maybe even under the broiler if I remember right, just for like a minute or two, maybe a couple minutes max to kind of melt the cheese again and they are just absolutely delicious. So this next recipe was one that was different for me. I am cooking a spaghetti squash, which I don't think I ever did before, at least not more than like one time. And I loved how it turned out. Uh, the rest of my family, uh, I don't know if they were like the biggest fans of it, but I really, really enjoyed it. And this is something that would be great if you're like low carb or you know, you don't want to do the pasta and things like that. It's kind of like a good substitute. So I had found a recipe on Pinterest, but then I adapted it myself. I wanted to use up some meat that I had. So I added in, I think it was taco meat, leftover, something like that. Honestly, I filmed this a little while ago, so I'm having a trouble remembering what all I put into it, but I'll do my best to put it in the description box. But it's something that you can kind of, you know, adjust the filling part to your liking, but you're gonna bake these uh, in the oven for I think around an hour if I remember right, and then you're just gonna um, cut your ingredients to go into the sauce. I added in some peppers and things like that just to, you know, add in some veggies, kind of sneak some, some in there without people really knowing it, and I thought it turned out really, really good.
know why, but this part is so satisfying. Pulling it out with like a fork, just those strands, I don't know. <laughs> Tell me if you're the same way. So at this point you're just going to put it back in the pan and kind of mix it all around. You can add different things, you know, if you want to spice it up a little bit or whatnot, but it's definitely customizable. But then you're going to fill your spaghetti squash with this filling again, cover it with cheese and put it back into the oven for a little bit. And this is the finished product. It was so delicious and I hope you guys enjoy this recipe if you do make it. I also wanted to hop in here really quickly and thank Walnut Creek Foods for sponsoring today's video. It is a pleasure working with them and I've been working with them for going on two years now. So a lot of you guys are very familiar with them but I wanted to remind you that I have a discount code for you guys if you wanna try out their online ordering. Uh, so the code is Lynette, just my name. It'll give you 10% off your order, and that is good through the rest of the year at this point. So great opportunity if you don't have Walnut Creek Foods products near you. But if you are unfamiliar with what that brand is, they're based in Holmes County, and they make a lot of their own products, or as many of them as they can. And then they distribute them out to a lot of different stores across the United States. There are several here in Florida, little places sometimes. Sometimes it's like a big deli or, you know, a bulk food store. Sometimes it's gas stations, you name it. I just can speak highly of the brand and I know that it, it is a good source and it's something that I stand behind and always like to tell you guys about because who doesn't love, you know, for instance, good cheese. And there's quite a variety of cheese that you can order on the website. And also, um, obviously, if you have bulk food stores or delis or whatever, they would have cheese and meat products there as well. So thought I'd tell you guys about them. Make sure you go check out the description box for the links, wannacreekcheese.com for the ordering. And let me know what you think if you do order it. I was pretty impressed with their speedy delivery process and everything. So go check out that in the description box. I also have some chicken here that I'm going to divvy up into probably two batches. So one will be for dinner maybe this week. And the other one I'm going to put in in the freezer. Be like a marinade, so like a teriyaki sauce with maybe some fresh ginger. And uh, then I'll put it in the freezer. And we could probably serve it with like fried rice or something. I don't know how this will be, but I'm gonna put these in the fridge until like tomorrow and let the flavors marry a bit. And then I'll freeze it. And then this I'll just kind of keep out until probably tomorrow night or something. Meanwhile, I made some rice and you can just do whatever rice you like, you know, for your fried rice. But uh, I would cook that and then put it in the fridge. It's better actually if you have like maybe day old rice or some that you, you know, have leftovers of. It doesn't stick together as much, they say. But anyway, here's the chicken. And then in the meantime, I am sauteing some frozen veggies. Basically just use whatever you have on hand. And I did manage to have some uh, frozen mixed vegetables. And then I just added in the egg on the side there and kind of cooked it a little bit. And then I put the rice back into that pan. And then I used some soy sauce and also the rest of the teriyaki sauce that I had added to the chicken. Put that in there, added some salt. There's the soy sauce. Kind of just added some things, but I do have a recipe for this if you're looking for something. 
It was a very easy one to make and let me know if you try it and what you guys think about it. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoy these recipes and I hope you enjoy making them if you decide to do that. And thank you all so much for tagging along today. Also make sure you check out the description box for Walnut Creek Cheese. Hope this video was helpful and encouraging. Thank you guys. I will see you next time.